Hi, hello, hello there again, everybody, um, whoever they are. <coughs> oh, God. Uh, just a brief update. This is the interior of the uh, 51 Bel Air that I'm doing. Uh, the chairs and, uh, well, the chairs have come out of a Hummer kit. And the dashboard has come out of a Nissan twin turbo job so I've got an updated sort of interior <coughs> going in, in here and a dog that's barking at some sort of rubbish um <coughs> got the 37 over here I found most of the bits one or two lost on the floor but I have to make them again uh, apart from that I've been messing around with one or two engines <coughs> and stuff, um, mainly flatheads, I've been trying to sort out the best parts of flathead engines, uh, oh, dog, uh, don't you just need them, you know, just... <sighs> doesn't like neighbours, uh, that's the rear axle for the 51, just clamp, got that all clamped together, I'm using these wheels, I've definitely gone for these, these are from the 55 Bel Air, uh, but I'm only going to use two of them for the front. I'm going to put skirts on the back and, and then just uh, have <coughs> the steel wheels that come in, <coughs> in the kit. <laughs> uh, bloody staffs. <laughs> anyway, that's it really. Um, I will get back to this in a few days. The damage isn't totally horrendous just disappointing um i broke quite a lot of the front end and front suspension uh dropping it on the floor <laughs> wearing a jumper instead of just a smooth shirt it's bloody stupid because i'm doing it again anyway that's it for now hope you enjoy the show uh hope every all your weekends going well um this should go well i just saw the middle of the seats down and quite a lot in, more in between uh but hopefully it doesn't look too that will look well it'll look all right when i've done it <laughs> anyway that's it for now oh the engine i had a look at the engine i needed uh oh wherever it's gone probably better where it was i've ended up there was so the joints were so out of line i've ended up putting a head gasket in it to take up the difference to actually get it back to where it was. I'll try and pick that out with the copper bit. I have to replace this moulded on fuel pump. And uh, there's no solenoid, or there's a blister of some sort of. I bet that was just a connector block. It had a remote solenoid somewhere. Don't know. Don't know anything about these engines. Apart from it's big straight six. Why the hell are the bottom pulley's been shaved off and I'll find that in the suspension somewhere I suppose anyway <coughs> that's it for now tutty bye hey